What is going on, you guys? How are you all doing today? Hope you guys are doing fantastic as always. So today, as you guys can tell by the title of this video, is the big car reveal. As you guys have seen from the previous video, I sold my beloved BMW 335i, which was a car that, like I said, I built this channel and I dearly enjoyed that car, but after two and a half years of owning it, it was time to let it go. So what did I get next? Well, I guess that's why you guys clicked on this video, right? So. Let's show it off, Shane, you wanna? This is my new 2015 BMW M235i. Yes, the car is bone stock, uh, but I absolutely love this thing. I got it literally just like two or three days ago. It's a 2015 M235i. It has 45,000 miles on it. I picked it up for $25,000, one owner car. It's a Storrel Blue Metallic on Dakota Black Leather. And this car is just an absolute joy to drive. It has obviously the really nice xenon headlights with the angel eyes that look gorgeous, especially at night. This paint color is sweet. Not only is the paint immaculate, whoever previously owned this car took a like really good care of it because the car has very, very few paint swirls. There are like no dings or chips. The headlights don't have any condensation. It's in really, really good condition, which was really something that I was looking for on my next car because my 335 wasn't the cleanest. This car also being that an M235i, it has four piston calipers up front and in the rear, as we will, you guys will see later on, it has two piston calipers. It has these nice M Sport 18 inch wheels. They're not the nicest of wheels, but they have grown on me quite a bit. And of course they are wrapped in Michelin Pilot Super Sport summer tires, which are really, really sticky. Moving over around to the back of the car, well, there's the two piston calipers as you guys can see, which is something that I really like. And I apologize, the lighting isn't the best here. It's a little bit dim, but moving on to the rear, obviously it is an M235i. This car is powered by the N55 single turbo inline six engine. It makes about 320 horsepower and 332 pound-feet of torque. This one is paired with the eight-speed ZF automatic transmission, which blows through gears. It is literally feels like a DCT and it's quick. I've been able to pull on quite a few cars. Sorry. <laughs> hey, can we get a rape real quick? Rape me. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Throwing shade. Throwing shade. Simply asshole things. I wasn't even trying to like save anything. Oh my god. Hey, we're changing your channel name to simply asshole things. <laughs> eight speeds it's definitely a lot of gears to go through but it stays in boost through each gear shift and I've definitely even in stock form I've been able to pull on quite a few cars with this thing if not keep up with cars that are pretty fast and kind of above this car league um, it does have launch control like I said with the Michelin Pilot Super Sport tires it sticks to the ground really really well um, the other thing about this car that I love is that there is very minimal heat soak with it uh, driving this car continuously, if you really drive it hard, it really doesn't suffer from any major heat soaking. Uh, if we come over to the front, obviously BMW has done quite a bit uh, in their modern cars to eliminate heat soak. This car has dual heat exchangers with these really aggressive vents to channel in air. Even though the vents aren't fully open, there's still like a piece of plastic for some reason that kind of blocks some of the air. Obviously we have an air to air intercooler, which I will upgrade eventually. Uh, but for now the stock one will do just fine. We also have the uh, radiator and then it, obviously the F series have the crossbar mounts, which I do plan on painting eventually down the road. The car already came with the gloss black kidney grills, which I really like. And they're not the dual slits or the dual slats, however you want to say them. Um, they're just single, which I like too as well so it looks a lot nicer. But overall, the front fascia of this car looks really aggressive. It's really sporty. Paired with the headlights, the black grills, just the intakes, I really fell in love with the body design of this car and the proportions. And to be honest, I just can't get enough of this thing. It's so much fun to drive. Let's go on to the interior. 
So, coming around to the interior, it is a very standard F-Series interior. Obviously on the door sills, it says M235i. And I apologize, the car is not the cleanest right now. We've actually been getting quite a bit of rain in Southern California. Turn on the lights too. So it has all LED lighting in the interior. It says M235i on the little gauge cluster whenever you open the door, which I love. This car has the technology package, so it also has the wider uh, infotainment screen. So you have Bluetooth, navigation, all the creature comforts that you could ask for. It has Eco Pro mode, Comfort mode, Sport Plus basically everything that you could want, and it's a really, really clean interior. Like I said, the previous owner took really good care of this thing. So if we come over to the front of the car, we take a look under the hood, there is some heat coming from it. But it is the N55 single turbo inline six, and because it's the M235i, one thing that I've noticed is that they're the only ones that have M performance on the engine bay cover. Mine says twin power turbo, bitch. <laughs> anyway guys, this is the new car. I hope you guys really did enjoy it because I am in love with this thing and I haven't had it for very long, just a handful of days, honestly. So I'm still really kind of breaking it in, getting used to it. Uh, I love the interior. I love the looks of it. Uh, I will have a more in-depth video, like a driving video as well, very soon on the channel for you guys. I'm also gonna have a separate video talking about my plans for this car in terms of uh, like a build list and things that I want to do performance and cosmetically, but yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy this thing um, Yeah, I just can't stop talking about how much I really enjoy the car because it's just awesome And I'm really really happy with it. So I hope you guys enjoy it I hope you guys uh, are ready to see tons of videos on this car on the channel because it is going to be sweet and there's gonna be a lot of stuff coming for it so yeah, I guess that's all I have to say for this video. I will catch you all in the next one. Please be sure to give this video a thumbs up as well as subscribe if you are new here. And with all that being said, take it easy. Later, guys.